You are a sight for sore eyes, Dollface. Spinelli, you were so incredibly brave. Well, one of the days work, sweetheart. Seriously, the, the way you dropped down from that air vent and saved me from Lisa took a bullet that was meant for me. It was beyond heroic. Yeah, heroes are saps. I just lucked into trouble. <laughs> you were amazing. I don't know how I would ever thank you. How about planting some more gratitude on my kiss of sugar lips? <laughs> okay, Spinelli, the joke's over. You don't have to keep talking like that. I told you my name is Jack O'Piani. Spinelli, you're really cute when you do that voice, but I just want to know you're okay, so maybe drop the act and just talk to me. There's no act, sweet face. What you see is what you get. Jack will be eye in the flesh. Okay, this is officially weird. Do you have amnesia? Not gonna shop as ever, doll. That crazy dame had you in the three doctors cornered. She was mad as a hornet and packing heat. Now I got the jump on her, but she was one bullet ahead of me. And you, you started mouthing off. The trigger finger got itchy and she fired. You jumped in front of me. I should have tackled that crazy dame. But I got a slug in the chest instead. I'm sorry for taking a powder on you. Spilly, you were wonderful. I don't... I don't know how I would ever thank you. That's just part of the job, kitten. I remember going down. Morgan and the Flatfoot busting in. But after that, I suppose the fog rolled in. Lisa Niles is in a coma. They don't expect her to make it. Well, that's justice for you. Although, I owe her one. After all, she brought out the real me. This is strange. Maybe you've had a stroke or a concussion. I'm gonna get a doctor. Those baby blues of yours are the only medicine I need. All right, um, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions and just try to answer them the best that you can. What's your full name? Damien Milhouse Spinelli. How's that for a moniker? I happen to like it. Who do you live with? Morgan. Jason Morgan, enforcer to the big enchilada, Sunny Corinthos. Good so far. Hmm. When did you first kiss me? Oh, no, you got it backwards, dollface. You were on a case with me, the text message killer. You spotted a cop, and to cover our tracks, you planted one right on Jack O.P.I. I felt a jolt. Like I stuck my lips in an electric socket. Current rang through me. Enough about the socket. <laughs> What happened on September 24th, 2009? Well, we didn't get married. Had a hell of an after party, though. No, I like the dames as much as the next fella, but no one holds a candle to you. You made me a one woman man, dollface. Why did we break up? Well, you took a walk on the dark side with Franco. I would have hung in, but. For you, it was all she wrote. Name one thing that nobody else would know about me. Well, you're making this too easy, kitten. Those cute little freckles on your caboose. The ones that look like the constellation Artemis? Only you would describe them that way. Well, what makes those spots so sweet ain't the name. It's like in real estate. Location, location. Location. Been on the scene of the crime, nimble as a cat, landing on my feet between the gun tote and broad and her hostages. But the loopy dish was too quick with her side. Lisa fired the gun? Not right away. First she said he was just going to be another hostage, but Lisa aimed the gun at me and Spinelli jumped in front and took the bullet instead. That didn't sit too well with you, did it, Dollface? Well, it really upset me that she was calling you pathetic. When it was obvious the only pathetic person in that room was her. I stick my neck out for no one, but for you. For you, I make an exception, Dollface. You saved my life, Spinelli. The name on the letterhead is Jack O'P.I. Buttercup. Thank you for saving our lives, Spinelli. Well, you saved my bacon, so I guess we're even. A real hero was the Enforcer Morgan, anyway. Flatfoot turned out to be pretty useful, too, for a cop. They call her the crazy dame. I just was too busy bleeding. Can you excuse us for a second? This 
is not normal behavior, Matt. If Spinelli didn't have a stroke, then he's having some sort of m mental breakdown. I've gone over all the tests. He, he has no evidence of a stroke. There's, there's no cranial contusions. He's, he's healthy, and he's getting stronger all the time. No, no. Why did he wake up with this bizarre personality? Since when has Spinelli ever been completely normal? You told me that one time, that one night he decided he was just going to be Australian for the night, right? The whole, like, I, my, that whole thing. What was that? I guess I should just be grateful that he survived. <sighs> He's going to be okay. I have to go do my rounds. I'll, I'll be back, okay? Alright. How are you feeling? Got a hankering for some chow and a shot of whiskey. If you had a shot of whiskey, you would fall down drunk or be completely nauseous. There you are. Thank God, you survived. I just heard the news. But isn't my favorite redhead. How's the book business, Cookie? Did he just call me Cookie? 